Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a couple tips and tricks for the new Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent game. Uh, this came out last week, and so um, I've been able to play a couple chapters of it. Not too terribly much, but um, I wanted to give you guys a couple of tips and tricks. Uh, not for necessarily gameplay, but to help you get further in the game. To start, once you've downloaded and begun your game, make sure to log in at least once daily for the next week or so. The Kate Scholar will be writing you letters and sending you rubies or other gifts to help you get started. These rubies are currency for character draws, so you want to stock up on them. After that, I strongly recommend completing all of your daily and weekly tasks. The reward for finishing all nine daily tasks is five rubies. The reward for finishing all 30 weekly tasks, which naturally complete as you finish the daily tasks, is 10 rubies. All in all, that might not seem like a lot, but if you do a week's worth of tasks, that's 45 rubies which is more than a co the cost of a single character draw. While you're completing the tasks, you'll likely be getting rubies from other feats, character stories, and other sources as well. So, as long as you're playing the game, you definitely won't run out of rubies. Another tip that I want to share is a way to power level. Since the game provides this for you, it's not cheating. At the bottom of your screen, there's a find button, and you essentially are given two choices to help find Kate's Sith and battle him for EXP, or find Kate's treasure for goodies. Most of the time, those goodies are experience nuts, but sometimes it can be leaves, which is the in-game currency. At the start of the game, this can feel overpowered since fighting the beginning monsters and story enemies becomes too easy, but as you progress, you can use this to actually help level your new character draws without needing to grind them through battles. Now, to access these fights or treasures, you will be required to watch an ad. Or, more accurately, let an ad play on your phone. The ads typically aren't longer than 30 seconds, but I usually take this time to put my phone down and stretch my fingers, sip some coffee, or check something on the computer. Once the ad has ended, you will fight Kate Sith. For a full party of level 1 characters, I wouldn't worry too much about strategy and just pummel him with single attacks until he either breaks or everyone's BP is full. Once either of those happens, click on boost all and take him down and enjoy the EXP. Don't forget to pump your JP on these characters once you're done, and buy gear if you can too. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, whether it is Octopath the Traveler, Champions of the Continent, Final Fantasy XIV, or any other games or media that I play, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you all in next week's video. Bye!